So I've used so many different handlebar harness systems over the last few years, uh, including this one right here. This is the Rogue Panda Canelo harness, but the new Rogue Panda Blue Ridge harness system builds on the Canelo while making it one of the most stable handlebar harness systems out there. And in this video, we're gonna get into all of the details on the Blue Ridge. Let's do it. All right, so the Blue Ridge is an ultra light system with two CNC'd clamps that pinch to two 13 millimeter carbon rods. The two rods are each 12 inches long or 30.5 centimeters in length. Threaded onto the rods are two nylon straps uh, that come with either a nylon buckle or the 3 fourths inch cam buckle from Astir. Those wrap around the carbon rods to help the dry bag kind of hug against the harness. The straps move freely along the carbon rods to kind of accommodate different size dry bags. However, there are four rubber ends affixed to the carbon rods so they cannot be removed. The harness attaches to the handlebar with two clamps with 3D printed shims. The shims come in three sizes to accommodate most handlebar clamp diameters, 35 millimeters, 31.8 millimeters, and 22.2 millimeters. The two piece shims are installed over the clamp ring, which then tightens down using four T25 Torx bolts. All right, so I ended up testing the pre-production version and there are some slight changes, uh, but I do have my hands on the production version here. The main difference is that the pinch clamp or where the bolt is positioned was moved to the outside of the clamp overall, which does reduce the corner of the kind of clamp rubbing up against your dry bag or stuff sack. The other difference is, well, it comes in black instead of silver. Otherwise, the functionality is the same. Overall, the pre-production one with the Astir straps and the 35 millimeter clamp inserts come in at a weight of 252 grams. And the production version comes in at an impressive 240 grams with the 31.8 millimeter shims. Uh, both of those weights are without dry bags as they are sold separately. So before we move along, I just wanna take a quick moment to let everybody know that this video is supported in part by 1UP USA. 1UP combines superior materials and craftsmanship with a keen understanding for what you need to get your bike and gear to your next adventure. Whether you're an enthusiast, weekend warrior, or pro cyclist, the result is simple, durable, no hassle racks and accessories that you can trust will last for the long haul. No matter what you ride, your bike deserves 1UP USA. So to learn a little bit more about their made in the USA range of bike racks and accessories, Click on the card in the top right corner. You can also follow the link in the description below. All right, so installing this thing is so darn easy. And the cool thing is that these clamp rings are actually adjustable, meaning if you do have a wider stem, you can actually untighten the pinch bolts and spread the clamps to kind of fit around those larger stems. Something you can't actually do with most other harness systems in this category. Rogue Panda says that the proper torque of the pinch bolts are three Newton meters and the handlebar clamp torque is six Newton meters or your handlebars max torque, whichever is lower. I find that the first time you install, you might wanna actually tighten it down a little looser, but then install your dry bag, adjust the angle of the harness to ensure it does not rub against your head tube. I'd say giving it a half inch or a handful of centimeters away from your head tube, then torquing it down properly. The harness connects just to the bar instead of actually having something connected to the bar and the head tube or fork crown like many bike packing handlebar systems out there. Making this system super easy to install but also makes it look super clean. The only improvement I would have found to be a little bit more helpful here in the install is say hinged bar clamp simply to just have to tighten down two screws instead of four. That said, Rogue Panda is in the process of designing an add-on feature above the harness that is backwards compatible to fit, say, GPS, lights, and so on. So perhaps this hinge idea would inhibit this, but only time will tell. So I used this pre-production version on a five-day trip in Southern Arizona earlier this winter, which worked fantastic for me. But going into the trip, the one kind of 
thing of concern was the system kind of shifting down. I didn't actually want it to sit against my head tube. At the same time, you certainly could do that, but the goal here is to create some space between the bike cable housing, brake lines, and head tube, but still keep it close enough to the bars to not put too much weight too forward on the bike. For reference here, the Canelo harness that is still available from Rogue Panda is actually designed to sit against the head tube with their glide plate attachment. While I love the Canelo's overall design, I definitely think this blue ridge will help reduce any chance of rubbing your frame or your head tube. And overall, it just feels much more secure and stable on the bike. All right, so speaking of stability, I ended up marking the clamps on the harness along with my handlebars to see if the system would actually shift. Uh, Rogue Panda suggests using some sort of carbon paste, but I didn't find it necessary as the harness never slipped or moved after riding it on some pretty rugged uh, sections of the Arizona Trail. The the harness itself also has a really great feel when riding with it. It doesn't shift at all or move, and it holds the load extremely tight to the harness. Not only was there no up or down play, but because of these super long carbon rods, there was very little side-to-side -side movement, and you'll notice that even with a wide load. And just kind of pressing down on everything and trying to make it flex, it doesn't flex at all, which is really impressive. So I typically pack my complete clothing kit uh, with maybe a dehydrated meal or two or some other odds and ends in there. And on top of that, I usually have my bedrock bags pocket for my drone and batteries. With all of that, the load felt one with the bike, more so than any system that I've tested in recent memory. All right, so harnesses are ideal because of their simplicity and usability. When I got to camp using the Black Ridge, it was as easy as loosening up the S-steer straps and unbuckling the bedrock pocket to loosen up the dry bag. And tightening down the load was pretty easy too. However, I found that using the buckles makes things a little easier to connect the dry bag as you either need to pre-connect the nylon strap to the S-steer cam buckle or do so when kind of balancing the dry bag to the harness. But tightening down the dry bag with the cam buckles is super easy and swift, making for a very secure fit. But that does come at a cost of an additional 40 USD. The idea of a rigid harness like this started a while ago with the Salsa Anything Cradle. And while their innovation certainly does not go unnoticed, there have been some trickle down ideas to improve this design, mainly to reduce the weight and keep the load kind of closer to the bike. There are a few options, including the Miss Grape Il Coso we tested last year, but the Blue Ridge simplifies things and only comes in at 252 grams. Now, the Il Coso does have a variety of mounting positions and comes with that bar to mount accessories too, but in my opinion, the Blue Ridge is a simpler and more robust feeling alternative where all of the parts, excluding the buckles and webbing straps, are sourced in the United States. Plus, it comes in two different options that you can't find with the Ilcoso yet, 35 millimeter and 22.2 millimeter bar options. So I'm really excited about where this part of the bikepacking industry is gone. And while there are certainly more affordable solutions, if you prioritize having a lightweight system that is stable and secure, it's going to be hard to beat the Blue Ridge. Of course, a premium product from a relatively small maker like Rogue Panda uh, does come with a higher price tag. The Blue Ridge comes in at 185 USD plus the cost of shims. Shims sets are $10 for the 35 or 31.8 millimeter options or 20 for the 22.2 millimeter shims. All shims are actually sold at cost for the meantime because they are hoping to switch from 3D printing to injection molding eventually, and that will actually be cheaper. And if you do want the s -tier straps, it is an additional 40 USD for those. So what do you all think about the new Rogue Panda Designs Blue Ridge Handlebar Harness? I'd love to hear your thoughts and also better understand what your priorities are in a handlebar system. Let me know in the comment section below. If you like what you saw in this video, a subscribe would mean the world to us. And if you wanna help support us a little bit more, you can do so by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. The Collective offers a lot of awesome perks, including the twice yearly Bikepacking Journal, among other things. So to learn a little bit more about the Bikepacking Collective, you can click on the card in the top right corner 
or follow the link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, pedal further.